Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing the first half of my Watts Sold video which will be for last week, Monday through Thursday, which is July 11th through the 14th. I had um, sales, I think, on all my platforms except Bonanza and I think I'm messing up Bonanza because I think Bonanza is more Google oriented and because I'm doing my ending listings and sell similar on eBay that it's messing that up but it's okay because I have so few sales on there anyway but we went out today it's Friday here and we it's like one of the first big days of yard selling for the week we get some on Thursdays and of course those who are in my lives know I do a I go to a, an estate sale that starts Wednesday evenings a lot of times but Friday is the big push here and it was hot I was whiny it was hot and I forgot to put my hair up so it was just mm. but we found some amazing amazing things today and believe it or not it was yard sales that weren't on my list that we saw a sign and ventured off towards them found some really cool stuff so I'm gonna be doing a haul here in the next couple of days on the things that we picked up so far this weekend but I found the cutest doll cutest I might do a short on it so if you um I'll pro I'm gonna try you know me I don't I haven't been doing shorts very much so I may go ahead and do a short though on it because it is that adorable I also wanted to say hi to Christy um, a viewer who I ran into at a rummage sale yesterday y'all it's funny when people come up to me and recognize me because you know I'm just me and it just it's it's amazes me that people come up and talk to me all right but thank you Christy you made my day all right so let's see I don't I didn't count how many I'm gonna share with you but a lot of plush um, last week was good Robert tell, tries to remind me quite often that you know when I have a really good week then I have a really bad week it just kind of seems and I think eBay this week has issues I've been seeing lots of posts about people who couldn't print out labels I have a friend who for a couple of days she couldn't um, look she couldn't do a search in her unsolds and then that finally um, got situated and now she can't do a search in her active listings so I've seen lots and then today was the first time that I was not able to print a label it just kept saying error error I printed all my other labels and I pre printed some after it but this one particular box it would not so I had to go try to figure out the whole QR whatever that thing is that barcode thing but I got all my packages out but eBay has problems this week and I'm gonna try I guess I'm just gonna blame my really bad week on that because I for the first time ever did a 20% off sale and I think easily can say this is the worst week I've ever had on eBay this year and it probably for years for years I mean this week was bad but all right next week right next week will be better if if it follows suit for me all right let me go ahead and open up my screen and I think I had such positive um, comments about my Build-A-Bear um, brand video that I did I might go ahead and do another one tonight to get it out this weekend I haven't decided which brand I've had a viewer ask for Douglas I've thought about Dandy and Walmart um, so I, I'll have to figure out what I want to do and I think some of the brands may be small enough that I'll have to do like maybe two or just keep it really short I don't know because I don't make I don't I don't make my decisions until right before I'm getting ready to do them all right let me open up this screen all right first thing that sold of course everything um, that I start with is eBay because eBay is my primary um, platform and then I do use list perfectly to cross list to Poshmark Mercari 
Etsy and Facebook Marketplace. And then I do the whole Bonanza thing where it connects to your eBay store. But again, Bonanza's been dead for me for a while. If you enjoy these types of videos, please do click on the like and subscribe button. All right, first thing, Fontanini. Now, I don't think this one was marked Fontanini. It was marked um, made in Italy though. But when I did Google Lens on it, it did pull up other listings that said it was Fontanini. But this was the Littlest Angel. And it's just a two inch figure, very little. Um, I think I picked it up like in a Christmas bundle. So I didn't pay very much for it. And it sold for best offer of $16. So definitely um, when you find these older looking figures, and especially if they say made in Italy, they might be Fontanini. All right, this next item is Cuddle Wit Yellow Duck Plush. It was made of nylon. Um, I did um, take a best offer of $7 on it. I'm taking most reasonable offers these days. Just get the stuff moving because I've got um, a lot of plush that I'm about to buy and bring back here. Plus, I still have all the bags from the Goodwill bins haul that we did back in March. So I'm getting ready to fill up both sides of my storeroom. All right, this. I picked this up at a yard sale. I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar for her. Um, this is Mattel Drowsy. She, it was a pull string talking doll. She did work. She did have a few um, issues, some stains. She had something in her hair that I could not get out with just regular um, rubbing alcohol. All of this was noted in the listing. Um, this one was from 1984 and she did sell for $55.75. This is a black bear plush with a Santa hat. There was no manufacturer on the tag. Those are harder to sell because, you know, I don't know who the manufacturer is. I don't usually put a high price on them. You know, $7.95, $9.95, $12.95. A lot of times I've picked them up at the Goodwill bins and didn't really look at them carefully to see if there was a brand. Um, but it did sell for $9.25. This was big plush. Krisha Playful Plush. I pick this up anytime I find it because almost always it's um, it sells well for me. This was 28 inch long duck. You can see I have it pinned up up here um, but I took a best offer of $31 for it probably a bins find this is Fisher Price laugh and learn rock and record microphone probably picked it up either at the bins or a yard sale 50 cents or so I, but I pick up a lot of stuff like this um, sometimes they're like the microphones that go to something but sometimes like this one I do believe it was a standalone but you know they get dropped a lot they um, might have other issues and it may be still be a favorite toy so I just pick them up I did take a best offer of eight dollars one of the clothing items we sold quite a few clothing items but this is an Ann Taylor sleeveless shirt a lot of times on shirts and stuff we usually pay less than a dollar for shirts around here um so, but i ended up selling this one for twelve dollars parting out bread makers definitely like today we found a bread maker but it was missing the paddle the big part of any bread maker if you're going to buy it to part it out is the paddle um so this one did have the paddle which is this thing right here you can't really see it but let's see if I have a close-up for some reason it lets sometimes it lets me get in and show you and then sometimes it doesn't yeah it's not let me um, highlight but it's the little paddle that goes in the bottom of a pan and it's the thing that mixes everything those are the most important part if you're going to buy one to part out so this one I just decided to keep all of the pieces together I could have split it up um but i had recipe booklets and instruction booklets so i just 
took all of these, made a listing, and it sold for $40 for the pan, the paddle, and then the, the booklets. This I picked up at the Goodwill Bins in Nashville on, I think it was our last trip. We always, when we go to visit Robert's family, we stop in Nashville, and then um, when we get to Missouri, then we can just, we spend several days at the St. Louis Bins, going back and forth between the two there. Um, this was a Mother Goose Storyteller cassette player lamp. When we got it here, tested it, and it worked perfectly. At first, it was missing one of the buttons on the cassette player. So I had the whole pictures, the video showing it worked all done. And then when I looked down in the bag, it had just popped off. It just fit right back on there. Um, I guess, I don't know. I must have jostled it in the bag or something. Um, it did sell for $55. And that little gooseneck neck moved. So it, I was actually able to fit all of it in just a regular priority box. Uh, that was a very cute item. Right, this is Spark Create Imagine. That's a Walmart brand. Sometimes they are high dollars. Sometimes they're my bread and butters. This one was a bread and butter. Um, this is a white unicorn. It was a larger plush, 18 inches. It sold for $13.90. These were Peppa Pig figures and vehicles. I just decided, at first I think I had everything split up and then I thought, no, I found the figures after I had done the listing for the car. So I ended the listing, added the figures, and I ended up taking a best offer of $25 for them. This is a cheer, cheerleader plush. Again, I don't believe the monkey had a tag. It wasn't Build-A-Bear or anything. And I think maybe this outfit had been added. The shoes, I don't think, were actually child size. I just left the whole thing together, listed it, and um, took a best offer of $22 for it. Uh, Hallmark ornaments. I pick them up a lot of times if they're like 50 cents or a dollar or less, of course. Um, but I have found these butterflies a couple of times and some of them sell for a whole lot. I think it's based on what year. Probably older ones sell for more. This one was a 2021. Pretty sure I paid a dollar for it and um, it sold for $9.25. This is Barney. Always pick up Barney. This is one of the smaller 8 inch plush by Jack's Pacific. It sold for $9.25. This is another one of the clothing items that sold. This is a Nautica Competition Men's Vest 2XL. It, I took a best offer of $20 on it. Then my, my viewer Lori, Lori loves to shop in my store and I so, so, so appreciate her. She did um, order for me again and I'm going to show you two of the items she picked up. She bought my Jesus figure that Robert found at a yard sale. I think we paid a couple of dollars for it. No, it was in an estate sale where we bought all of those figures. Um, I took a best offer of $40 on it and then she also bought this E&J Classics Labrador Dog Plush um, and I accepted a best offer of $30 on it. So thank you very much, Lori. This is Boyd's Bear. I was kind of surprised at this. Of course, I buy a lot of Boyd's Bears um, whenever I find them. This wasn't one of the many, many, many ones like the Message Bears, which I sold one this week. Yay. I'll show it to you guys later. But um, this one was cute. It was like a little lamb. But it had bunny ears and when I did a Google lens on it I realized it was um, it was more than my bread and butter um, I did take a best offer of $25 for this and I don't even think it had its um, paper tag at all now this was another viewer sale so thank you very much Jessica I think we again pick these up maybe at the Goodwill bins um, this was Bambi it's that thick like cardboard wall hangings um vintage somehow bambi's poor tail got broken off at some point um which i did note in the listing um but she sent me a best offer of 15 dollars, which i accepted 
just I love that if if my kids were little that would have been something I would have loved to have on their wall I think we did poo and um, Care Bears and then I don't remember which is funny I remember my oldest boys who are in their 30s but I don't remember what the nursery theme was for my my younger boys this I picked this up probably at the bins but the Asheville bins and I picked up two of them um, this one was sealed in the bag, but it was these little dolls, pin, you know, the pincher kind where you squeeze in their shoulder blades and their hands would open, but they were all attached to like a piece of rope. Um, I've got another one I haven't listed yet. I'm contemplating, it was opened, um, and I'm contemplating whether I want to split these up and sell the dolls individually, like it, like a boy and a girl, because it was boys and girls, and then we're just kind of hanging on this rope. Um, but this one was sealed, so I left it that way. I did take a best offer of $30 for it. Now, this was um, another sale that somebody bought multiple items. Kind of had a theme here. They were both knights. One of them was an anime knight by Ban Presto, and then the other one was a Hershey bear that was dressed up as a knight. Um, I did take offers, and the total order was $14. Now, this was... Pretty sure we picked this up at an estate sale I want to say 50 cents it could have been a dollar but it was a sealed puzzle game um, sold it for twelve dollars and four cents now these definitely keep your eyes open for the vintage not even vintage early 2000s or earlier playtex drop-in bottles the sell-through on them is amazing especially if you um, can you know get them in like the, the specialty designed ones but even the colored ones do really well also now when I buy the used bottles either at yard sales or wherever I do not ever include the nipples that go with it I just think a lot of times any bottle I don't include the nipples the they just need to start with a brand new package of nipples for any bottle but this one was from 2005 and it was still sealed in its package but I did put in my listing that the nipple was very old and should be replaced um, but this one bottle which I think I paid a dollar for sold for $27.85 this is Bob the Builder this is one of the older um, vehicles early 2000s when I think it's when it first came out um, they did a whole series of these where you could press the little button on top and they would talk um, those were the best ones I think they keep putting some out even probably recently and they're just not as nice I don't think but this was one of the older ones from 2001 um, it does take the button batteries and I just buy the button you know the little button cell batteries in bulk on Amazon I, I'll try to remind Robert to maybe add that to our lit our Amazon affiliate thing because those are hard to find they're expensive if you're not buying them in bulk on Amazon I mean I I don't pay a whole lot for them on there but if you were to run into Walmart and need to buy three batteries for a toy I want to say it's four or five dollars if not more so I always make sure that I include the button batteries I do not put them in the toy I usually wrap them in a um, sandwich bag but I make sure they're not touching because a lot of times if they touch and they're stored for a while they start corroding so I just kind of split them up twist the bag tie it so none of them are touching but I tend to always include the button batteries with toys and a lot of times I replace them just to make sure that they're gonna have ample life for a while anyway but this I don't know if I said it this one sold for ten dollars this is wishbone I pick up anything any plush that's wishbone it's back from the 1990s and they, they have they sell for me anytime I find them this was just one of the little clip-on small plush it sold for nine dollars and 25 cents this is Fiesta Fiesta it's an okay brand they do put out a lot of um, cute characters and stuff but they do do a lot of um uh, just regular stuffed animals this one had glitter eyes 13 inch it sold for nine dollars and 95 cents 
Now this I picked up again was at the Nashville Benz. This was not the doll that went with it. it. It confused me for a little while when I kept trying to look it up because the outfit that was supposed to be on the doll matched this little cradle basket thingy. But this is a brand you need to look for. It's called Penelope Peapod. There was a whole series of these in different colors. Like I said, the doll is similar to this, but this I think was a city toy doll. But the outfit always matched the basket. And it kind of, it would collapse into a little, like almost a purse that a child could carry around with the baby inside. Again, I don't think it's going to let me look at the other pictures. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. Um, but this one had some staining and some discoloration that I did disclose. I probably could have gotten closer to 40 if it had been with the original doll and in better condition. I went ahead and accepted a best offer of $22 for it. Circo. I pick up all plush that are marked Circo. Circo is Target. Um, I always sell them very easily. There's a series called something sprouts, jumping sprouts, no, something sprouts that does really well. That's also from Target, but this was just a cute little green dinosaur. It sold for $13.90. This was a surprise. You all know I love Fisher Price and Mattel, so anytime I find a doll that's by Mattel, I usually will pick it up. It's a good moment for me to just kind of learn about it, but this one was just almost felt lifelike, the skin and everything. Um, it was called a Love and Touch Baby Doll from 1979. Unfortunately, the little outfit snaps, it had those old timey snaps on it. They had already um, been broken off, but it sold for $34.36. Pretty sure I picked it up at an estate sale, probably about $2. This is Radio Shack. This is one of those plush that had like the transistor radio in its belly. Um, of course, none of them ever work anymore because it's a whole different system. Um, but I always still test them, but all you're going to hear is static. Um, but they sell for me. Any and all of them that I find, as long as they're clean and not really junky, sold for $18.55. This is Gon's Croker Green Frog Plush. It did still make sounds. It sold for $10.18. I've had this listed forever, and I think it was another one of those situations where I ended it, did sell similar, and it sold. Um, Run Rig, once in a lifetime. I picked it up at the bins, I'm sure. Sold for $7.39. This was a Hallmark Rainbow Bright Starlight Horse plush. Now, I've seen some of these sell for quite a bit, especially if they were still in their um, original box, but this one wasn't. 12 inches. Um, I just went ahead and it was a very quick turnaround for me, so that's good. $18. Robert picked this up at a churchyard sale. I had no clue what it was. It's a pinnacle movie box. Lots of them listed, lots of them sold. Um, I, I put it under the four, part, four parts or not working. Put that in the title, four parts only. I think down here I put something, yeah, condition notes, four parts not working. And down here in the bottom, you just, you have to cover all your bases with that. Um, sold it for $20. I paid $2 for this at an estate sale. I bought like five or six of them still in their original bags. These are from the 1980s Tonka Pound Puppies. This is the smaller seven inch size. Um, this one sold for $13.90. Pyrex tableware. Somehow I ended up with just one of these. We must have picked them up when we bought a whole bunch of coffee mugs. Um, it was the white milk glass one. This one sold for $9.25. I have been buying and listing tons of coffee mugs. They're just easy to store and they sell pretty regular. I've just mailed one today. They sell pretty regularly for me. 
this is a child's just vanity bench um you know it was only like nine and a half inches tall not even like this big so it's for a small child um, i pick them up as replacements all the time little tykes has some um but anytime you know it, parents you know they have a second child who wants to sit at a vanity or somehow it gets broken i just i pick them up all the time this one was small enough that it actually would fit inside of a large priority box which is really convenient sold for twelve dollars and four cents and this was from my online high bid auction lot that we purchased last year these were from kellogg's i'm assuming cereal just little scooby-doo bean bags i decided to keep the two together instead of doing a quantity of two um and they sold very quickly for eight dollars and 25 cents now I do have Facebook, Etsy, Mercari, and Posh sales also. That I'm gonna show you a few things on there. All right. This is Cole's Cares. Love them. You know, last year at Christmas time I sold out almost all of them. So now I'm replenishing them. This is the if you give a moose a muffin, I think moose a muffin or moose something plush sold for seven dollars on facebook and then this was an etsy sale it is a 23 inch walking doll i don't even think it had a brand just you know supposedly you could hold their arms and they would walk this one was in really good condition um and it sold on etsy for 34 dollars and 15 cents couple of Mercari sales. I've been doing a whole lot of cross listing there in in trying to get ready for fourth quarter. This was just a Gons little dog plush with a Santa hat. It sold for six dollars. I think they sent me an offer. This was a Dakin. This also came from that online high bid auction. Um, this is Dakin Blue Bonnet um, Sue doll which was a Nabisco thing. Um, Again, there was a whole bunch of advertising toys in that auction that we won. This sold for $13. Boyd's Bears. This is a 7-inch one. It had like a little pumpkin belly and the little grapevine thing. Grapevine. <sighs> the little vine thing coming out of its head. Um, it sold for $8. Most of the Boyd's I buy is like $8 to $12 except the one that I've sold this week. And then a pair of shoes on Poshmark. These are Earth Spirit. We find those a lot around here. And for the most part, they sell for like $20, $25. So if you can get them for a couple of dollars and they're in good condition, you know, they were my size, but not my style. So they sold for $20 on Poshmark. All right, I think that's it. I'm going to get a video going on my next brand that I want to share with you and then I'm going to get to work I've got to get some stuff processed so I'm always busy always busy here all right bye